this is Jane from SafeNet AT. In this video, I'm going to be integrating an HPE Storever MSL3040 tape library and SafeNet AT's Key Secure for Government Key Management System. I've done a lot of pre configuration on Key Secure, so I'm just going to quickly show you how it's configured. Security tab, local CAs. I have a self signed root certificate authority called Integration CA created, and then a subordinate issuing CA that was signed by the root. On the trusted CAs list and the default list, I have both of those CAs trusted. You do need to do that if you have um, subordinate CAs. Make sure they're both trusted. I then created a certificate called KMIP signed by issuing CA, created a certificate request here, signed it by the issuing CA, installed it back, and have it uh, available as an active certificate. So when I went to create the KMIP key server, you can see here that I have bound that KMIP signed by issuing CA cert to it. This key server is on port 5696, the KMIP standard default. Here in authentication settings, and this is important, you want client certificate authentication set to use for SSL session and username. We will be validating both the client certificate and extracting from the certificate a username and it's in this field that we are telling it we want to extract that username from the common name field. And what we are going to be checking is to make sure that there is a local user by that common name configured on KeySecure. And I just want to point out this password authentication is not used. That setting is fine. We are going to be checking a password per KMIP. It says if it's sent up, it must be checked. So we're going to be checking it. Um, you do not have to change that password authentication setting from the default. So the last thing I had to do is create a local user. And you can see the username is MSL3040. And the password is going to be checked. So make sure you make note of it when you create it. And Per HPE configuration guidelines, check these two options. Okay, so that's the configuration of KeySecure, and I'm ready to go to the tape library. So here you want to log in as a security administrator. Um, without admin security administration privileges, you will not have access to the KMIP configuration wizard. So here, click on configuration, and then encryption. And here you see the KMIP wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And I'm going to skip through these informational pages. And now let me clear this out first. So we do it from scratch. Okay. So here it's asking for the root CA certificate. And so I go to the local CAs page and for the integration CA, which is the root CA certificate, I go to properties and copy the certificate. Paste it in and click next. And now it's going to go through the process of creating a certificate signing request to create the, the client certificate. Now this username needs to match the user on KeySecure and the password must match what is on KeySecure. Um, and one thing I want to show you here, notice how the next button is not highlighted. It will not highlight until or become active until those passwords match. If I were to delete that character, you see it goes uh, cold again. So make sure those passwords match and you'll get that next button. Leave this option disabled. We don't just want to check the certificate. We want to check the username so we can assign keys to a specific owner. That's more secure than just checking the certificate. So click Next, and it's going to generate the private key and the certificate signing request. You can click Select Certificate, and this will select the request. And make sure you kind of, before you do a right click, if that's what you're doing, kind of come down into the towards the bottom of the certificate to do that. If you if you try to do it up here, you will not get. Um, the copy. So 
click down in here somewhere and copy. Come back up to Key Secure and go to the Local CAs tab and select the issuing CA. Click Sign Request. This is a client certificate. Set the duration per your security policy and paste in the request. Click Sign Request and then copy the certificate. Come back to the tape library, click Next, and paste the client certificate into this box and click Next. All right, here's where it's going to want the IP address or host name of your key secure. It's 14. 7.84 and the port is 5696 um, so that's good and now we're going to do a connectivity check now before I do that I'm going to come back up here to the device tab log viewer activity log I'm going to clear this out and we'll do a connectivity check it says everything's okay and what we should see here, if I display the log, this is the activity you will see on that connectivity check. And this means that TLS was successfully established and the username was validated. So everything is good to go. Um, as a last step, we want to click Next and um, click Finish to submit the configuration. and exit. Now you can see back on this page, this is where you are setting the encryption mode for the partitions, what you do for a new partition, and now you can see that KMIP is an option, so we will go ahead and set KMIP for the existing ones, and all new ones, and click Submit. And it's going to go through an update process, and I'm, I'm actually VPN'd into an HPE lab. In order to see keys created, um, they would have to have something there that could write data to the tape drive. At that point, a key would be generated. Um, we're not set up to do that, so I can't take it any further than that. But um, here you can see that the tape library is indeed communicating with KeySecure, and it should be good to go. So hopefully this has helped. Thanks for watching.